G'day guys and welcome back to another video tutorial with me Zarius. Today I am going to teach you how to build Zabulbar's pod racer from Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. And uh, I wasn't going to bring these out until next year as uh, sort of like a surprise for the new Star Wars movie that's coming out. But I thought, well, what the hell, coming towards Christmas I'll give everyone a Christmas present. Or whoever's like Star Wars anyway. <laughs> so, to my ability and my knowledge, this is, well, to scale. And uh, from all the pictures I've seen, I've got as much detail in as possibly it could with Minecraft blocks. So please excuse me if I've left any kind of little bit of detail out. So, this is what we're going to build today. And uh, let's get on with it. So, in the center here, it's a 7 width gap, okay, from this post here to this post is 7 blocks across. Okay, so, let's get started. What you're going to do first is grab yourself a black block. And uh, what you're going to do is I'll come out from two from the wall there now what we're going to do is we're going to count up three one two and three and we're going to start our block there so one two and three start our block there we're going to go up by four one two three and four and then we're going to come up by one. Then we're going to follow the same pattern up on this direction. So one, two, and three. So you've got that happening. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run these back by six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to do that on all of these. Now it's a bit of a pain in the ass uh, doing it in black wool, but it's going to be a worse pain if I don't, and then I have to go and change it all again. So let's run this back. Yeah, drop it down, come right to the end again. Oh, knock that one off. Through here again. Oh God, it is painful with black wool, and I apologise. There we go. No, not off that one, that one. There we go. So there is six in length that way. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come behind here and we're going to get our wood. Now this looks good in default as well, guys. So no need to stress on this one. But you're going to use acacia wood. I'll throw that away. And. Acacia wood stairs and blocks, wherever that will be here. Gives it that orangey red color the best we can. So we come down here, up we go, and you're going to place your stairs all along the edges, just like this, right into the grooves, like so, and even down the bottom here just like that. In here, you're going to turn the stairs upside down, and that's that part right here. Turn the stairs upside down, run them all the way through there, and follow the pattern right to the top, like that. All right, then what we're going to do here is, sorry, we'll start down here, one, two, three, and four. Four. Knock them out. Grab your cage of wood, wood planks. Place one, two, three, four, and come out one, two, three, and four. So it gives you that little groove in there, just like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we'll rise up to the top here. Is get our occasional stairs and one, two, three, four, five, and six. Same again. Now, 
this is what we're going to do, something different. On both edges, we're going to knock off one brick out. So it exposes the black. Like that. Okay. Then we're going to do the other side. So come down, grab your corner stairs. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And one. Oh. One. Oh, come on. One, two, three, and four. And flip on one, two, three, and four. And so on. Right till we get to the top again. Just like that. So the black is exposed and showing. Up here, we are going to get our black wool. We're going to count one, two, and three. Just like that. And we're going to. No, sorry. Oh dear God, it's the other way. <laughs> one, two, and three. With your corner block, we're going to come in and we're going to place that there and a slab. So that's what it looks like. Okay. Now, we're going to do the other side now. So we're going to get our block. So we'll pretty much grab any color. So we'll just choose green. And in here, we're going to play seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And what you want to do is do exactly the same here on the other side. So you guys do that and I'll come back to you as soon as that's done. Okay, so you should have something like that looks like this now. On both sides, exactly the same. Just like that. Now your next step, guys, what you have to do is go and grab a couple of ladders. And with the ladders, just come in here and place two ladders either side on that little groove there okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna knock out this we don't need that no more you're gonna come in here and you're gonna knock off that block there and you're gonna place in a full block and you're gonna knock out those two I'm gonna do that on the same side here change that one for a full block and knock out those two because what we're going to do now guys is you're going to go and grab a block of iron and you're going to place the block of iron three across three across just like that okay now we're going to mix and change it up now so with the iron blocks I don't know if you can see over there, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to run it across. So, what we could do now is add on an extra two. One, two. One, two, either side. And with the buttons, we can put three buttons on right here. So, we'll go and grab our buttons. And we'll put them in one, two, and three. One, two, and three, just like that. Now with the iron blocks as well, we're going to take out two of these and run the iron blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. Take out those. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's that. Now this is going to look absolutely friggin' amazing on your server. So we'll get that happening now. At the back here, what we're going to do is we are going to come in through here and just run that through like that. Connect it in either side. One, two, and three. And under here, one, two. Here, one, two. So it's just like a coil, sort of like a circle sort of thing. Right, our next steps for this is we grab our acacia wood planks and we're going to follow this by four. One, two, three, and four. Exactly the same as the iron, iron blocks. Exactly the same. 
Just follow that all the way through. Just like that, and the same on this side. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. All the way through, like so. Then you're gonna grab your iron blocks and you're gonna come out by two. One, two, like that. Either side. black I'm gonna do one just like so there we go now what we're gonna do is we'll close off that by a block and on the there like that inside here and we're gonna do it now is grab our item frames and with the item frame, you're just going to pop one inside, like so, okay? Now, here, we're going to grab our stairs, and I'm going to run four across here, tip them upside down, four under there, and the same this side. One, <coughs> one two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Then on top, we're going to place four slabs and underneath we do four slabs as well just like that so we'll just do the slabs on top first and on the bottom since we've got them in our hand and we'll get our stairs and run them just like that and last ones like so Okay, so we've got that happening, all right? Now, this is where we get to tart it all up. We grab our stairs, we can place one here, one here, one here, and we're gonna mirror image that. One here, there, and there. Same the other side. One, two, and three. Whoop. Three. One and three with our buttons which we just got rid of we'll fill them in the gaps come over here do that one two three drop it down one two and three and the last one here we've done that side haven't we yeah we did that side Okay, now, I'm just gonna pop over here actually, I'm just gonna have a quick look. We've gotta get our fences, fence gates. Okay, so we're gonna run two in here. We're gonna run them all the way on the inside and the outside like so. Two here. Yeah, we'll run them underneath as well. Here we're going to put in buttons. So we'll do buttons again. Like so. And do buttons here. Grab our gates. And there as well. Just like that. Starting to look good. Right here, we're going to place iron bars right on the front like that and as you can see it's starting to look absolutely perfect right here what we're gonna do is gonna grab our glass panes and I saw Lord Dacker did this um, I used nether portal they actually uh, look like that but the thing is if you put them together they vanish so yeah I'm borrowing this idea from Lord Dacker when it comes to the glass paint so we're just gonna run that all the way across like this and connect it in I'll take out that one there 
So we've got that happening. Okay, now. This is the fun part. What we're going to have to get is some cobblestone slabs. And with the cobblestone slabs, you're going to come in here and you're going to place... Not there. On the top of the second block in, you're going to place two. Like that. So, two there. So, a set of four. Same again. One, two, three, and four. So, it's like that. You're going to run it all the way across. But you're going to come up. Just like that. Like so. And then what you're going to do, you're going to overlap the back. And you're going to do it like that. So, one, two, three, four. Just one slab. One, two, three. Instead of nine, two high. And then four again, single. Okay. Just like that. Now, what we're going to have to do is change a few things around. So, what you've got to do is you're going to knock this block out. And you've got to cover that one in. So, it's just a one big hole sitting in here. Grab an iron block and do it either side, just like that. And I'll tell you the reason why I'm doing this is because we are going to put in the actual pod. I'll show you over here, since I've already done it. See these strings? They're connected to that. So it's an actual, like a real pod racer. Okay. The first what we've got to do over there is we've got to measure out exactly where that block there is. So, judging from this, we've got one, two, three, and four, and one out. So we've got to measure that out. So four by one. One, two, three, and four by one. Just make sure that's right. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Because right here, behind this block, is where our nose of the pod's gonna be. So we're gonna go with this, we're gonna come back by two. And on the front, we are going to grab fences. And on the two fences, we're gonna place one there and one there. Either side. Now, let's go back to this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the search and we're going to type in pig and it's going to give you an egg okay we'll just move that back to the fence since we don't need that anymore then you're going to type in lead and you get the lead then you're going to type in tag like yag come on so I'm recording this in the dark guys so I do apologize it's uh, 20 past 2 in the morning <laughs> and I'm still going so you grab yourself a tag all right then we're going to go and grab an anvil like that we're gonna drop down here drop your anvil down Grab yourself a tag and click on the anvil. Drag your tag up to this and just name a tag anything. So yeah, let's call it that. Grab your new tag and then fly back up. Now this is the secret. Grab yourself a pig, spawn a pig, put a tag around it, put a collar on it, cover it back up like that. Go and get your lead again. And we'll just pop that there. With your lead, you're going to go over here and you're going to attach it to the actual fence. Okay? Just like that. And you come over here and do it again. Drop your pig in. 
grab yourself a tag, lead, run over to the edge, oh. and connect it on. And then just close that off. Knock that out and that one. Knock that and that. And just put your buttons back in. Like so. So now you have it connected like a real pod. Okay, now we are going to do the pod itself. So what we're going to do is if we come right behind here, we come under this, just run this back by three, come out by three, Like that. This is the proper way, guys. Okay, so that way you can close that off there. Right here, we're going to go and grab a redstone repeater and place that there and just run that back because when you're sitting in the cockpit here, this is going to be like Zabulba's computer. On this side, we are going to place a lever and place the lever on this side. All right? Right where I'm standing, you're going to grab a rail. You're going to run that up, and knock out that one, and put a minecart in, like so. Close it off, just like that. Grab yourself a black wool, pop that on top like that, and with a item frame, just pop your item frame as the headrest. At the back here, what we're going to do is grab our Acacia stairs again. We don't need that anymore, or that, or that. And with the stairs, we're going to run one upside down and one normal way like that use it the roundish back. Back with the iron bars again. One, two. One, two. Grab your wood planks. One, two. Like that. Now we can use a black wall. Like so. Item frames on both of these, and then you've got your iron bars. Oh, we've got them already. Grab your iron bars, pop your iron bars in, put little turbines, and then with our buttons, we're going to place one button in the middle, one button there, one button in the middle, one on the side. Grab your iron bars, place them in the corners, like so with a black carpet we're going to place that on the front okay that's pretty much done with that uh, part there okay now what else we need to do is we're going to get some lava okay and this is what you do you just type forward slash give then your name and then the number 10 okay so we go forward slash give and that will give you lava like that and with the lava just pop them inside the actual item frames and the actual engines it just looks like it's heating up going for gold yeah, it looks pretty nasty. <laughs> All right, and I think, I think that's it. I think that is the official Zabuba pod racer completed. So let's just compare it with this one over here. And uh, yeah, I 
think it is. I think that's it, guys. I may as well just pop that in here as well. Also here. There we go. Check that all out. Check that all over there. Fly up. Got three. I'm only put two either side. Yeah, I'll just make it official. Got a button for three. And I think that's it. That is it. Yep, that's it guys. The official Minecraft Zabuba Pod Racer. Okay guys, as you see, you've got Zabuba's Pod Racer. I've got 22 more Pod Racers to go. Give you a quick little demo. Here is Anakin Skywalker's Pod Racer I've actually created. And these are my two original ones. Um, and I'll do tutorials for these as well. This one's got four engines. And this here is off a movie called Time Cop with Van Damme. The actual gun that he uses is the same shape as this, just made into a pod. So there we go, guys. The tutorial is now complete thank you for watching this tutorial if you liked it please hit the like button really give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel because uh, the more subscribers I get the better the videos will come and more frequent they will be so thanks again guys until next time I'll catch you on the next one